Hey guys, Dr. Josh Yagoda here, and today I'm going to show you how to reset your lower back or do a sacral and lower back postural reset. This is really important for those people out there who are having achy pain, lower back pain, things like that, because it can be a damper on your day. And just doing a few minutes of self decompression can really go a long way. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay onto a hard surface on the ground here, and I'm going to take a towel. Um, some sort of sweater, sweatshirt, whatever it may be. And in this case, I do have a sweatshirt. Some people will t particularly love to use a yoga block, but not everybody has a yoga block at home. So this is where this comes in. What we're going to do is we're going to insert this towel, this sweatshirt, whatever you have underneath the sacrum, which is going to tip the sacrum and open up the lower back, okay? When this opens up the lower back, it's going to create some space within that disc. It doesn't happen right, right away, so you need to give this some time to decompress. A one minute, two minutes, three minutes, something that is a longer length of period of time. You can't just go in there, do a few reps like as if it was a bicep curl and expect results. When you're talking about a disc, when you're talking about these types of issues or a postural thing, you have to do it often and you have to do it for a length of time. So what I'll do first is I'll get into this 90, posi 90 uh, position where my knees and hips are at 90 for, for the most part. What we're going to do is we're going to lift our hip up and we're going to slide this right under our, our, not under our spine, under our sacrum, right? So right under our butt. Not here, not here, right under the bottom part of our butt. And we're gonna just let this relax here. And so my sacrum is tipping. If, it, if you can kind of imagine it like this, what we're doing is we're pushing on the bottom of the sacrum and it's tipping back. And what that's going to do is that's going to open up that space within the spine. A yoga block, I actually do find that that's a little bit more helpful because it's a little bit harder of a surface and it's higher up. When it's harder and higher, what that's going to do is it's gonna allow more decompression to occur and it's not gonna give any wiggle room or I guess you'd say give with regard to a towel. So that is my thought process on that is because I can feel I folded this up high and then you're like, oh, I start high and then you actually start to sink a little low and you know, I'm kind of fall, falling. I could feel it decompressing, but I can actually feel the, the sweatshirt here giving some space, and I don't want to give it. I want to actually create that really firm type of barrier so that we can really decompress the spine. And you're just gonna sit here for one minute, a minimum of 30 seconds to 45 seconds, and then just let your pelvis drop and let gravity do its weight when you're done with this position, I don't like to just get right out of it because if you're, especially if you're having a low back pain, what I'll do is I'll take my knee, I'll bring it to my chest, and then I'll drop it to the ground. I'll bring the other knee to the chest, I'll drop it to the ground. Assuming you're done completely with all, all the sets, I'll lift up, I'll slowly slide this out, and then I'll start getting some movement back into the spine before I get up and start my day, all right? So that's how to decompress the spine by using a sacral or postural reset within the low back, all right? I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys for the next episode, bye.